guys let's let's look at something called constraints or and statical determinancy okay we're going to look at constraints and statical determinancy what does this mean well again let's look at some nice pictures um the basic idea behind statically determinate okay statical a structure being statically determinate versus statically in the terminate. Okay, we're going to compare. What is the difference? Statically determinate, statically indeterminate. Statically determinate is basically what we've been looking at so far. What this means is that the number of equations that we have and what are we talking about we're talking about some of the forces in the x equals zero some of the forces in the y equals zero in the two-dimensional system now right and some of the moments about o equals zero those are our equations for a 2d system in equilibrium if the number of equations that we have are not sufficient to solve the problem then we have an in statically indeterminate system. If the number of equations are sufficient to solve the problem, we have a statically determinate system. So that's just the basic idea. The number of unknowns that we have in our system, the number of unknowns, uh, equals, if the number of unknowns equals the number of equations, it's statically determinate. If the number of equations is less than the number of unknowns we have a statically indeterminate system so let's look at some examples here so here in figure 3.2 okay figure 3.2 if we look at example one we can see we have a pin connection at a and a rocker at b so what we can see here in the horizontal direction is we have a x Okay, and this force here at, at A in the X direction is sufficient to constrain this body from moving in the horizontal direction. Okay, now what if we replaced B with a pin connection as well? We replaced B with a pin connection. Then we would also have another BX there. And you could see now Maybe it's, it's, it'll take a while to sink in. But now we have two, um, two forces that are restricting the motion in this direction. And this then becomes an over-constrained system. And you then have one unknown, two unknowns, three, four unknowns in this specific system. But... In terms of equilibrium equations, we only have three. Okay? So, this would then be an over-constrained and a statically indeterminate problem. Okay? It means that we do not have enough equations using this specific method. It doesn't mean that you can't solve this. But you need more advanced knowledge and techniques where you look at the deformation uh, in these structures, right, which is, um, we're looking at deformable body mechanics, okay, but the techniques that we're looking at in this uh, chapter, or in this textbook on statics, um, do not allow us to solve for this kind of system. No one is saying you're not allowed to put in a pin connection there, don't, don't misunderstand this. What we're saying is if you do put in that pin connection, you need more advanced techniques to solve for these, these forces because we need extra equations. So these three equations are not sufficient. Okay? All right. I'll stop there and carry on in the next one.